Doctor Strange 2, a.k.a. Marvel's next movie, a.k.a. Into the Multiverse of Madness, is being dubbed as basically an Avengers-level movie. It's going to make Spider-Man No Way Home look like children's play in terms of the threat, in terms of the characters, in terms of the cameo. So we're going to be talking about Doctor Strange 2 all the way up to the movie's release, which is hopefully going to be in May, but you never know what could happen in the current world. So yo, what is freaking good YouTube voice you hear if you are new around it, make sure you subscribe to Netflix miss any new videos there will be spoilers in this video also check us out on instagram at washed if you want to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice no i don't actually take this serious also check us out on twitter washed you g right let's get into this video so i've done a few videos on dr strange 2 and they've gone down well and most people want to know predominantly who is going to appear, which is fantastic and which is cool. But the only problem we're going to have with this movie is it almost seems to me like we could be stuck in a Spider-Man No Way Home position where people want to know every single cameo, every single special appearance because it's the multiverse. We can have a bunch of characters that appear in this movie that never appear in Marvel again or do appear in Marvel again in five years' time because as we know, Kevin Feige is the freaking master of the long game. He's the master of chess. He's always thinking five to ten years ahead at a time. So, who do we know that's in this movie already? Well, obviously, the main star, Doctor Strange himself, is going to be it, and we're going to have Wanda, aka the Scarlet Witch, two main stars. We know we're going to have Wong in it, which is going to be cool. We know that Doctor Strange is going to be playing multiple Stranges, and there's also going to be multiple Wanders in this because it's the multiverse of madness. The fact there's madness in the title implies there's most likely going to be multiple variances of every single character in this movie. So we know that Baron Mordo will be appearing, which is going to be freaking cool. We know America Chavez is going to be appearing. Her debut was actually supposed to be in Spider-Man No Way Home, but it got deleted early into production, which is fantastic. So, who else is going to appear in this movie? Well, sadly, the War Street joke is getting really old to the point where I'm not going to do it. So, this is pretty much confirmed. But as I said throughout this video, careful for spoilers, don't want to ruin your life. So, months ago, there was a pre of Wanda fighting Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart, yes. Patrick Stewart, Professor X. And this is pretty much 99.9% .9 confirmed. Confirmed on the Toby and Andrew level. Why? Because everyone has confirmed that that is true. Spoke to so many insiders they've said it is true the previs it's being confirmed it's been everywhere for months and months we also know that patrick stewart did speak to marvel studios he publicly said this in an interview about reprising his role but he said he wasn't gonna but we all know what andrew garfield said don't we we all know that the actress for she hulk said she heard the rumors and they're not true and we get it ndas have got a lie but patrick stewart will be in this movie which is going to be a selling point if you think the cameos in spider-man 3 aka no way home what bonkers then this movie is gonna be like that times freaking 10 we're gonna have some form of the illuminati and apparently patrick stewart professor x will be in that also i mean this could change because there are reshoots they can change things multiple times but apparently there will be a version of captain carter in the illuminati also bold of the brave also monica rambo but the cameos in this movie they're gonna be freaking insane so we are talking spoilers so the main point of obviously wonder fighting Charles X, who apparently is the leader of the multiversal version of the Illuminati. But according to recent reports, the Illuminati will only be seen in this movie and then we won't see him again. So the Illuminati apparently will be kind of a throwaway part to this movie, which if that is the case, guys, that is going to be such a freaking shame if it's just a throwaway part of the movie. So Hugh Jackman gets pretty much name dropped in every single property going. Don't know why? Everyone who's name drops him. Now, the problem with having Hugh Jackman in this movie is, yes, it would be fantastic. It would be freaking epic. But I know it's called Multiverse into the Madness. But a Hugh Jackman cameo wouldn't strengthen his position. Although it would be massive fan service, it would actually take away from Logan, from Hugh Jackman's position, from his part in the actual Logan movie. And would he do it? I mean, I guess you could get around it by saying it's a multiverse version. It's not the same version that we've 
met before from the Fox universe. But the rumors are saying that the characters in this movie will be from the Fox universe. So you can't really say that if that's going to be the case. So Ghost Rider is another name that's being thrown out there. We don't know who's going to play Ghost Rider. There is Nicolas Cage's name being thrown around. There's a new actor, the dude from Walking Dead. I don't watch Walking Dead, but you know who I'm on about. His name's being thrown out there. I don't script these videos. This is all off the top of my head and all from what I can remember. And yeah, I've, I've got a few notes in front of me, but you know how I freestyle these videos. So it is interesting. So apparently Mr. Fantastic, Susie Storm, Blade, and it's not clear if it's going to be the new Blade, Marsha Ali, or if it's going to be Wesley Snipes. Now, Wesley Snipes would be freaking fantastic if they can do that. But the most interesting rumor that's going around the Twitter sphere is Ben Affleck, Daredevil. Now, this is an interesting one because if people believe the Ben Affleck rumor, it's kind of like you're contradicting your own self. Ben Affleck recently said he was done with IPs and done with everything, right? So if he's done playing Batman, would he come back to the Multiverse of Madness to appear in the movie? And I believe he would because he recently said he was a fan of what Marvel Studios is doing over there. So if they get the Daredevil, but it is actually not the Daredevil people expecting, the Ben Affleck Daredevil, which personally I like, that would be freaking insane. It really would be freaking insane. So apparently they're trying to get the original members of the Fantastic Four and some of the original members from the X-Men, from the Fox universe, into this movie. Now that would be freaking insane. Even more insane than Toby and Andrew appearing in Spider-Man No Home. Why? Because this is going to be a dark, horror, gritty movie. Now the fundamentals of this movie essentially come from WandaVision and the Dark Hold, the book she had at the end of the movie. Essentially, she's chasing her kids through the multiverse and trying to get to her kids, essentially. But the Midnight Suns, that's another one that people are throwing out there. And that essentially is where Ghost Rider's name's coming from. Blade, Mahersha Ali, or Wesley Snipes would be pretty interesting. Jessica Alba returning in the Fantastic Four, that would be pretty cool. Now, I don't think, personally, now this is my personal opinion, they should introduce the new X-Men or the new Fantastic Four. They should bring back the old characters from the Fox universe universe as kind of a passing of the torch. So careful for spoilers. This is pretty much unofficially confirmed. So the ending of this movie is what's going to introduce the mutants in a reverse cowboy. No, not reverse cowboy. In a reverse, no more mutants. So basically, instead of Wanda saying no more mutants, she's essentially going to say something that will bring the mutants to the MCU. But I hope it's kind of introducing the new X-Men, but they haven't casted the X-Men yet, so they can't really do that. So that's going to be the biggest talking point after this movie is if they pull off a House of M, but in a reverse style. Instead of saying no more mutants, she's actually going to bring the mutants through by the ending. I think that would be fantastic if they can pull that off. That would be very interesting. Obviously, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool is always going to be in the conversation. They could literally introduce Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool whenever they feel like it. Technically, they have an advert with Korg already, but it's going to be fantastic and interesting. When we find out what is actually going on. So all these rumors, they're mostly speculation, but let's be honest, if Toby and Andrew can appear in Spider-Man No Way Home, anything is possible. As we know, Gagantus isn't a villain. It's going to be Wanda, but essentially due to legal issues, they have to say it's Gagantus, but really it looks like a Shamagora. So the main narrative of the movie is Wanda doing anything to find Tommy and Billy, her children, if you didn't know. So that's, that's pretty cool. And obviously there can't be a Marvel movie in the 21st century now without Toby, Andrew, or Tom Holland's Spider-Man appearing. So allegedly it's going to be Toby Maguire's version that appears in this movie, but he's not going to be in it that much but I just hope if they do bring Toby back that it's not for a throwaway line in the movie that he actually does anything. Some of these rumours are getting freaking insane, guys. Really on crazy level. Actors like Clark Gregg, Chloe Bennett, Ben Affleck, Wesley Snipes, Blade. The rumours for this movie are absolutely insane. And this is why I think the marketing and the hype train in talking about this movie will be more interesting than Spider-Man No Way Home because you're not just going to be talking about two characters. There is potentially 20 characters, and that's even before we talk about the Tom Cruise Iron Man stuff. As we know, originally the studio wanted Tom Cruise. Kevin Feige had to literally fight to get Robert Downey Jr. into the role. So how 
cool would that be? Then also there's the other factors. Chris Evans, Human Torch, Chris Evans, Captain America, Hydra, plain alternate versions. And people think, oh my God, it's Captain America. And really, Human Torch, Flame On, that would be freaking cool if that happens. Then there's characters like Bold of the Brave, Captain Carter, Captain Britain. You see where I mean with these rumors? They're getting pretty darn crazy with the amount of characters. Now, it is rumored to be a three-hour movie, so a lot of these rumors are pretty much going to be real, but it's going to be the case of which actors are available. Now, according to the internet, let's just say the internet instead of saying Twitter, because Twitter is the internet, is there's so many rumors that it's kind of pointless listening to them because it's just a case of who they could have got because they extended the reshoots in order to basically pull every single person's name out of a hat and try and get him. The fact that people think Ben Affleck Daredevil and there are some people on the internet saying that allegedly they did reach out to Ben Affleck's team so it's anyone's guess who could be in this movie but realistically Hugh Jackman that would be a big call Patrick Stewart, Stewart Professor X that's pretty much confirmed because of the previous images Wesley Snipe returning that would be freaking cool he would anyone would return for this movie and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man would be a big pull hell pull everyone out bring every single Marvel character into it no they can't because of the visual effects would be insane now we know this movie doesn't come out till May but that's pretty much all the rumors we've got for everyone appearing in this movie the original X-Men some of the original Fantastic Four members Deadpool Ryan Reynolds the Illuminati so many people and that's before we even talk about Namor and other characters like that rumors are freaking insane for this movie Midnight Suns appearing that would be pretty cool we do know there's a mid Night Sun's video game coming out. So maybe there's going to be some crossover and some tie over with that potentially in theory I guess you could say but would you want Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider or would you want the dude from The Walking Dead his, his name's Norman I, I believe I, I know who I'm thinking of I don't actually know his name but it'd probably be in the thumbnail somewhere so like always guys let me know who do you want in this movie and if you want more Doctor Strange 2 news just let me know guys I will be covering Doctor Strange 2 throughout to the movie as I'm very much excited looking to this it's going to be very different it's pretty much going to be an Avengers movie so like always guys check us out on instagram at warstu check us out on twitter warstu g subscribe to the channel to never miss any of the videos and i will catch you in another video very soon catch you later <laughs>